special meeting of the Common Council to order. First item is to roll call. Boren. Here. Bauk. Here. Gisha. Here. Hannah. Here. Heideman. Here. Kittleson. Here. Quayunis. Here. Manny. Here. Meyer. Here. Montemayor. Here. Rinfleisch. Here. Ryan. Here. Smith. Here. Vanderweel. <coughs> Excuse. Verhasselt. Excuse. And Wagaman. Excuse. 13 present. Quorum is present. At this time, I'd ask the city attorney to lead us to the pledge. <coughs> <coughs> To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before, before we proceed with the agenda, I'd like to explain to the council and also to the public that's watching the reason why we're in a third floor conference room. Um, as uh, the council knows and the public knows, the municipal court shares the council chambers at least up until the new municipal courtroom is built at the new police station. And because they are holding court all day, they had about 125 cases to deal with today. Uh, it, was, it was more practical uh, for us to move our meeting uh, to, to the third floor conference chamber and let the judge uh, handle her cases where she started initially this morning. Uh, that's the reason we're here today. Uh, the same rules apply. Uh, we have a quorum present, and we're going to move on with the meeting. First item on the agenda is the confirmation of mayor's appointments. Hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Tuger Lee to be appointed as Information Technology Director commencing December 18, 2007 and expiring December 17, 2012. Signed by the Mayor. You have a motion to confirm? Alderman Hanna. President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I would make the motion to confirm. Tuger Lee. Second. Motion and second to confirm. <coughs> and the discussion. Alderman Rinkley first. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just a point of order. Uh, the agenda that I received does not have the confirmation of the uh, appointments on the agenda today. Is this the one you have? Okay. My correction then. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, under discussion, I guess I just want to state. Um, uh, my stance on this, and that is I am not going to be able to approve um, and support this uh, this appointment. Um, I guess for me, there are just too many unanswered questions on why things were uh, done the way they were and, and the process and the, and the outcome of it. So I will not be supporting this resolution. Thank you. Anyone else? Thank you, Your Honor. I also have difficulty with this um, recommendation. Um, I feel as if there have been, you know, questions I don't know about evaluations, negative evaluations, terms, uh, expiring terms. Um, just a couple questions. Has this person's term expired? They were appointed at this position. Person? The person who had information technology, were they appointed in this position to begin with? You mean the, the person, person, yes. The person had uh, <clears throat> with the IT position was uh, a manager before. Yes. It was a, di a, a directorship position. That position was uh, eliminated. The manager position was eliminated, and subsequently, the position of directorship of IT was created. It went through the debate process, both in Salary and Grievances Committee. It went through the debate process in the uh, Common Council, and I believe the debate uh, process took at least four or five, maybe even six months to, to, before it, be, it was approved. Uh, second question, uh, was there a qualifying test for this position? A test like what? Meaning skill test that the person who ever took on this position would have to um, perform, you know, prove that they have the background and skills for this position. There was this, from my standpoint, I, I only do part of the interview process. And that is the, the follow-up to recommendations that are made by the Civil Service Commission. 
from my standpoint, I do not, I never have administered any examination to anyone. I do have an administrative interview team that I, that I use, and that team was used in that instance too. Okay, so we don't have any qualifying test. Was the person who is being replaced, um, did she apply for this position? Okay, and so uh, based on 30 years of experience and performance, she was not qualified or not chosen for this position? The civil service did not recommend that person to, to make her final selection. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Just, uh, can we get to know Mr. Lee real quickly? Can you tell us uh, some, some Absolutely. things about his background? If you're ready. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, I, I will also let uh, Mr. Tudor Lee address the council. Uh, if that's okay, then I will, I will need a motion when the proper time comes to open the floor. Mr. Tudor Lee, uh, is, his qualifications, from what I understood, from what I read, and based on my interviews with him, uh, were, were uh, very great, very great uh, qualifications. He's uh, considered uh, almost an expert in change management. He understands the AS400. He, under he understands the... Uh, the, uh, the software that we're, we operate under, he understands the need to update our technology department that has needed updating in a long time. Um, during my interview with him, I quickly understood that he got it. He understood the whole technology department, the whole technology area. I was extremely pleased. The other people who interviewed him felt the same way. They rated him extremely high. I rated him extremely high. He was one of two people. Mr. Tudor Lee is the one that the uh, interview committee, from, from my, my standpoint, uh, selected. And again, that is a, a list that came from the Civil Service Commission moving up. I can't tell you what the Civil Service Commission does because I don't participate in their deliberation. I can't tell you if they administer tests. I can't tell you how they proceed uh, with their interview process. That is entirely their business, not mine. And I, I never question how they do it. I just take whatever recommendations they give me and do interviews. Mr. Trudeau, would somebody like to make a motion? President Harris? First off, I have a comment and then I'd like to, to make a motion because it'll fit right in. I'm very interested in knowing uh, Mr. Lee's decision for our IT department, where he sees us from where we are now to where he would like to get us. And I would make a motion to open the floor. Second. Motion to second. Open the floor under discussion. No. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Tudor Lee. Thank you. Um, fortunately, I wasn't expecting to be running for office, so I, I didn't plan anything. But uh, uh, a little bit about my background. Uh, I actually have a double major in accounting and finance and then an MBA from Marquette. Uh, over 14 years of business and IT experience with eight of those years in a senior management position. Uh, I actually came from a background where I was a CIO and director of technology for a company. Okay. So from that standpoint, what that company ran was uh, a software called JD Edwards, and it was also running on an AS400 platform. So from that standpoint, I am familiar with the AS400. Uh, Am I going to be like uh, God's gift to the AS400? Uh, no. There, there are a lot better people out there that are qualified to do that better than I would be. But I do know the, uh, the hardware and the software that runs on that particular machine. Um, any other particular questions that you might want to ask? Just in, in general, Mr. Lee, yes. I'm curious as to uh, you've had a chance to, to, to look at us as a city, look at us from a technology standpoint where we are today, where do you see us in 18 months, 24 months? Sure. From, from what I can glean from discussion with Sue and some of the other uh, individuals within the uh, interview process and with the mayor as well, my understanding is that this particular, that the city uh, right now is running uh, on, a, on a mainframe system using COBOL programming and a lot of custom programming. Now the difficulty with that type of environment is that eventually you're going to have to find people to, that skill set that individuals have with that type of uh, environment will eventually die away because they're not teaching that anymore in the, in the school and, 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 and in the business processes. So you're going to find harder and harder to have people who are qualified to be able to come in here and do that kind of work. So 
that's the first thing that we're going to look at. Is that you know what, in what direction can we take the city? You know, one of the software that uh, Sue and the mayor had mentioned was a, a package called uh, Tyler Municipality. It, it is specifically designed for uh, cities and county governments and state governments. And what it is, what entail with that particular software package is that it's a client server architecture. Essentially what that means is that you're going to have uh, a, a, a box. Most likely it's going to be a Microsoft box running either a SQL Server backend or an Oracle backend. And what backend by that, what I mean by that is that it's a database. And then on, on top of that is that you're going to have a user interface that will sit on top of that and that will be the client where the users will eventually interface with that software package. And that's where I see us going down the road is that we're going to move uh, the city government to a client architecture environment where you have servers and you have uh, a, a web server and, uh, and, 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 and networking share integration services so that when work is done and I'll, I'll use a vernacular that I'm familiar with. When work is done, let's say you purchase a police car. The moment that that's, that particular asset is acquired, the information required for that particular asset is automatically propagated throughout the whole system. So every individual within the, the city who needs to know will know that, yeah, you know, we just bought this car, $18,000, I wish, you know. Um, here's the depreciation schedule for that particular car, and this is when we're going to retire it. And that's how the software will work, is that it will integrate every single aspect of the city government into a, a tightly integrated package that will be more easy to use, will be more seamless, and going forward, it will help position this city for growth for the next decade uh, to two decades from now. And, and I wish I can give you a more definitive answer on where do I see everything going, but I do not know enough about the overall infrastructure yet to give you a complete assessment of that. But that, if the confirmation go through, would be something that will happen within the first 30 to 60 days of my uh, administration, more or less. Thank you. President just, a, just a follow-up. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, so if, if I'm understanding you correctly, we're going to move from the environment of customized programming to using much more off-the-shelf plug-and-play. That is correct. That is correct. You know, and, and the beauty of that type of, of uh, off-the-shelf package is that it will allow you to utilize some of the best uh, processes that have been developed by other city governments, other county government, other state government. You know, allow you to kind of share, well, you know what, this is the way that we've always done it, but is it the best way that we could do it? You know, all that uh, best practices have been built into the software. So utilizing something like that will allow you to kind of tap into a little bit of that resources. Also, finding um, employees to come off the street to support uh, uh, an environment like that would be a lot easier than the environment that you are on right now. Um, I know that other alderman want to ask questions, and, and, and that's perfectly all right, but I, I, I don't know that we should be saying to the president that we interview all candidates, because we haven't done it in the past, and I'm, I'm somewhat disturbed that uh, Mr. Tuju Lee is, is getting sort of interrogated over issues that have already been dealt with uh, confidentially. Uh, interviews for employment, uh, for the most part, are confidential, uh, and we need to be careful if we don't cross that line. Basically, what we do is it's introduce the person and qualifications in general and speak in very in general terms. Um, as he said, he hasn't had an opportunity. You can't expect a man or a person or a woman to come in and tell this is what I'm going to do if they haven't worked here one day at all. So, But I appreciate your questions, but please be, be, be cognizant of the fact that we're establishing a precedent here, a precedent here where we're we going to start interrogating every, every single candidate that comes in by all of us. Alderman Manny. Thank you. It's not really an interrogation you question. Need, need, I think excuse me, you need to mind. This is more information, I think, for the city and moving ahead. I assume with the direction that we're going that maintenance and service of systems would be more efficient and thus less costly. Is that correct? Uh, it would be twofold on, on that question. One is that because you're moving into a non-customized environment, what you will be doing is that we will be paying uh, an annual maintenance fee to the software manufacturer. What that does entail is that it will provide you tech support if you have any issue. 
it will also provide for software upgrades when there is a new software upgrade that's available. And because of that, usually in that type of environment, it's really more or less um, on, a, on a weekend, uh, the upgrade is installed or the patch is applied to the system. And hopefully with the testing and everything else that's provided, by Monday, it would be business as usual for, for all the employees. But it, it, it should lessen uh, the overall expenses associated with uh, you know, keeping your system and your infrastructure up and running. Thank you. Thank you, I, I respectfully want to acknowledge that we don't want to set a bad precedent, but I, I don't think we've done anything improper, and I think we've given Mr. Lee a fantastic opportunity to just knock the ball out of the park. You've done a fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Just a procedural question, and that is, um, did we follow due process? Did you receive a recommendation from the Civil Service um, Commission regarding yes, I did. this position? Yes, Thank I you. Did. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just uh, want to say that uh, I was one of the uh, individuals that uh, voted to not suspend the rules on uh, Mr. Tudor Lee. Uh, at the last council meeting, out of respect for Margie Verhelst and her 27 years of service to this city, I am impressed with Mr. Lee, and I will uh, affirm this guy for this uh, appointment. Thank you. Anyone else? None. Warren? Aye. 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 Ryan. Aye. Smith. Aye. Eleven eyes, two no's. Motion carries. Appointment is confirmed. Congratulations. The other, moving on, the other appointment uh, re regarding uh, Susan Hart, I am uh, pulling out. She, uh, this appointment will no longer be before you. I am. Uh, would like to explain in very brief general terms that uh, the reason that I submitted this appointment to the council was pursuant to the, the legal advice of a labor council from Davis and Kiltel. Um, we, uh, this, the HR spoke to uh, an attorney there, uh, two attorneys, and they looked up in our civil service rules and, and policies, they looked up in our city code, both on the internet and uh, and our, our municipal code book, they looked up our policies, that all the policies we have, there was nothing there to reflect. Uh, subsequently, uh, I've learned uh, through the assistance of Attorney McLean that Section 29 of the City Code does require that the position of the, the HR director uh, be, uh, be referred to the mayor from a list of, of candidate by the Civil Service Commission. So what I have done is I have, I'm pulling out the, the appointment, I'm starting fresh. I want to look at all candidates. I interviewed one candidate today uh, from Beloit, and the reason I did that, and I've done it before, uh, when they come from afar, uh, it, it always takes a lot of time to come back for another appointment. This particular individual was from Beloit, I believe it's two and a half hours away, it's five hours round trip, an hour for an interview, that's six hours, give or take a lunch and drive around, get lost a little bit in the downtown Blue Harbor area, and you've got about seven, you've got a full day's loss. So, Civil Service asked if I was able to to scramble and, and uh, to meet with the individual. I, I honored their request. I did. My interview team was myself, uh, Paulette Anders, Bill Bidner, and Fire Chief uh, Lestusky. And we met with the individual and interviewed her for about an hour, almost a little over an hour. And that's where we're at now. As I said, I want to start fresh, follow the process. Attorney McLean has made it... Uh, 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 clear that the process needs to be followed and there was never an intent not to follow it as I say not to belabor the point I was following legal advice from a labor attorney it doesn't matter we're back on track we're starting fresh and we'll continue to work forward <coughs> next item on the agenda <coughs> matters laid over S51 resolution number 1750708 Saul of Manhattan authorizing the city attorney and appropriate city officials to begin negotiation with and to prepare a contract for Mr. Colin Wilson, which authorizes the city of Sheboygan 
to provide emergency medical services to the town of Wilson, effective January 1st, 2008. President Hannah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. At this time, I believe it's in the best interest of Sheboygan uh, that I make a motion to file this document. Second. Motion and second to file under discussion. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I want to congratulate the fire chief and his staff for, for working hard on this concept. I would encourage them to continue to explore alternatives for the city. I uh, look forward to hearing more good ideas in the future. Thank you, Alderman Hanna. Any further discussion? Motion to file. Mr. Hanna, please call the I just would like to uh, thank the council for our deliberation on this and the discussion on this and we'd be remiss if we did not uh, recognize the integrity and um, um, in-depth discussion that took place with the town of Wilson and the the board representatives uh, Mr. Roger Miller, David Gartman and Dale Summers. They have looked at this very closely and um, looked at the benefit to their residents plus the potential of shared services and cooperative efforts in the future and I just uh, think it would be remiss not to recognize the good discussions that we had and the doors that have been open for future um, cooperative efforts with the town and other uh, municipalities so I just thought it was important that that was recognized. It's always it's important to note that preliminary discussions, any type of discussions are generally had uh, and always if there's any final product to be made to be brought before the council, the council does have the final authorization. Alderman Bauck, do you wish to speak, sir? Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. just want to commend uh, Chief Lestusky and his team. Uh, the quality of the business plan they brought forth back in the spring, uh, based on that uh, and their spirit of entrepreneurism, I have no doubt that they'll bring forth future uh, future ideas to increase their revenue stream and uh, in lieu of some of the cre uh, in lieu of some of the half truths that we've seen out there on the blogs and at open forum and things I just again want to uh, uh, express my absolute confidence in, in Lestusky and his team and we look forward to hearing how he will expand his revenue base in the future thank, thank you your honor um, I think one of the uh, the problems that came with this was that we really don't have a process in place as things like this come up. I think the chief handled himself the way he should, went to the mayor. Um, I know I asked about it. I was involved. With it. Others were, were at least aware that it was going on. But there really isn't a, a procedure like we have with other things, like we're talking about procedurally tonight, in, involved. And I know the mayor discussed Monday night setting up those types of procedures, and I would encourage perhaps taking the ambulance committee as it is now, a quality assurance committee, which was to kind of to oversee Orange Cross and turning that into a, a, a real committee that deals with rates, uh, potential opportunities, and quality assurance. And I think that would be helpful to allow people the opportunity to come to a committee and, and express rather than just showing up at the council floor. But um, I, along with Alderman Bauck, I, I, I commend that spirit of entrepreneurialism, and that's a tough one to say. <laughs> uh, and. Um, and, and commend the work of the fire department to bring us this opportunity. More opportunities, the better. Thinking outside the box, I, uh, j I greatly appreciate that from all department heads. Thank you. Other discussion? There be none. Please call the roll. Bob? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayonis? Aye. Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? No. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Smith? Aye. And Warren. Aye. Twelve eyes, one no. Motion carries. Before we adjourn, Alderman Ryan, you wish to make an announcement to the council, sir? Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I just wanted to announce to the council I'm going to have, uh, for the benefit of the council, an open house holiday cheer uh, happy hour at my house on, uh, on this Friday starting at 5 p.m. This will be open to the council, the mayor. Um, our city clerk, city attorney, uh, all department heads and city employees that want to come and have a drink for free. Uh, I want to uh, say here in the council chambers that this is a social gathering. This is not a council meeting, and no city business will be discussed at this meeting. Thank you very much. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Any discussion? Aye. 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 Aye